Hey there, everyone. Guy here with a, a little mini tutorial on a couple of band exercises and just how to set them up. The first we're going to talk about is the, uh, the, the band sumo deadlift, all right? So we want to find the band that's the appropriate level of challenge for us. It doesn't have to be heavy. We're primarily working on endurance in this one, so y y there's going to be a limit to how, how much resistance you can do. You want to fold it in half, find the midpoint, and put the feet into each loop, all right? Then what you're going to do, hold it where there's a little bit of tension, all right? So you don't want to be so low that there's slack, and that's, you're never going to go below where there's that, uh, that, that point of tension. Make sure that you've got all of the proper hinge characteristics, all right? My hands are, are straight along my body, butts back, shoulders are in front of it, shoulders are slightly above my hips, okay? So here we're in a nice solid hinge. What I'm going to do is stand straight up, driving into the back half of my foot, all right? I am keeping my feet down. I don't want to see those feet roll up, especially with the band, because it can, it can roll off that way. So I'm keeping my whole foot pressed in, but my weight is shifted to the back. Shoulders are back, chest is up, and I'm going to pull it straight up, all right? And when I finish, head's over the shoulders, shoulders are over my hips, hips over my knees, knees over my ankles. When I go back into the hinge, all right, I push my hips back and my shoulders go forward. It's like a bow, but I'm going to maintain that tall posture all the way through, all right? So sit behind the hands, shoulders are in front, and I'm stopping before the, there's uh, no tension on the band. All right, so it looks like this, a few reps. Okay, now we can do uh, an, the other variation of the deadlift as well. If we put the handles over our hands and then stand on in the middle of the band, and now there's a more conventional stance for the deadlift rather than the sumo stance. but all of the, all the points still matter. Finishing with the joint stacked, all right? Tall spine, you're not punching your hips through. And when you go back down, you shoot the hips back, shoulders go forward, maintaining a tall posture, shoulders back, okay? Now, knowing how to do that, uh, that variation of the, the band, that's your setup for your band row. All right, so this is the band bent over row. And again, you stand right in the middle. Sorry, it's not lining up for me. Good. Stand right over the middle, okay? My hands are in the end. Now, really concentrate on keeping the posture proper. I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to pull my elbows back towards my hips, and I'm going to not shoot through this way, all right? Just back towards the hips and maybe just slightly past the mid part of my rib cage. Okay, one of the things I like to do is go through a little bit of a, a turn with my hands where my knuckles are facing out, and when I finish, they're neutral, all right? What I like about that is it just gets the shoulders going through a nice rotational sort of spiral movement and allows for a, 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 a better technique, I think. Try that out, see how it feels. Um, the band isn't the best variation of the, the bent over row. There are uh, other ones that I prefer, but sometimes you're stuck and this is all you have for equipment, in which case, in, for both of those exercises, fantastic substitute. All right, so good luck with that. Let us know if you have any problems and uh, feel free to touch base.